Hello, I'm Brian and this is the Bearded Cigar Review. Today I'm going to review the San Cristobal Revelation. I'm smoking the uh, Legend size, which is the 6.25 by uh, 52. I've got my notes over there. And yeah, it's an Ecuador Sumatra wrapper, Nicaraguan filler, and binder. Yeah, excited to smoke it. I smoked this once before. I'm going to smoke it again now and uh, review it with you guys. I'm going to be accompanying the cigar with the Joel Richard Essencia Rum, 100% pure Colombian rum, aged 25 years. I have had this before, beautiful drink, it's going to be great. So let's go ahead and get started. So before I light it up, cold draw. I'm getting popcorn from the wrapper, graham crackers from the foot, and then not a lot on the dry, on the, uh, excuse me, on the cold draw. Nothing very distinctive on the cold draw. You can maybe slight graham cracker-ish, that slight sweetness, but that's about it. No bitterness, no sour, you know, not a lot of pepper, really. Not in the first few, obviously, puffs, which you're not supposed to technically, I guess. You're supposed to let it go about an inch or so. Let all the oil start to warm up. Let the tobacco, give the tobacco a chance to warm up and really start giving you some, some flavor. But most new smokers, I find, really start to judge a cigar. Maybe mostly because, you know, they've never tried it before. They don't know what they're looking for. So their immediate reaction is to, you know, kind of look at what they're first tasting. So the very few, first few puffs, Nutty to me, nutty, maybe a hint of pepper, maybe a hint of black pepper, but not quite yet. Very pretty, I love the San Cristobal uh, bands, especially with the Revelation band underneath it. I just, you know, cigars are all around a piece of art. So when the manufacturer really goes an extra step and puts a band on it that is just something, just the band alone is something beautiful to look at, it's a piece of art itself, and then the box, being a piece of art itself as well it, it, it's a whole it's it really for me it completes the whole circle it is really truly for the senses it's artwork on the tongue it's artwork for the eyes it's artwork for the nose and depending on how good your conversation is it might even be artwork for your ears I feel like it's gonna be a stronger cigar uh, I haven't read I read up on what the wrapper, filler, and binder were, but I didn't really really read much of what else um, about it, any reviews yet about it. I haven't seen any reviews about this yet. So I don't know if people are saying it's strong, full body, if it's supposed to be medium, full bodied, or if it's supposed to be mild. For whatever reason, uh, um, I think I can see that it's gonna be more medium to full. We'll see if I still feel that same way about halfway through it. So now we're about an inch in. Um, Definitely very muted, um, not in a bad way, it's very smooth, not harsh at all. Um, that pepperiness is very slight, just a very hint of it. Um, now on the retro hail, a lot of nutty flavor on it, a lot of nutty flavor on it. That pepper isn't strong, it's not very, very spicy, but still you get a hint, uh, a big balm of flavor on that retro hail. Hmm. That was different. For whatever reason, reminded me of pizza. <laughs> oh yeah. And for whatever thin crust pizza, what it for whatever reason came to mind. Not necessarily something you'd want to just chew on. Like if you're out doing chores, you just want something to kind of be smoking on and you have to have to keep relighting. You know, this is something that I think should be appreciated, but um, 
Oh, yeah. I'm liking the first inch. I will say that this is, for whatever reason, been complimenting the rum very, very well. The Joel Richards. Smoking this. I'd smoke more cigars than I'd really drink. I'm not a big drinker. Uh, when I do drink, I like nicer stuff. And this Joel Richards has been complimented complimenting this cigar very very well going very very uh well together oh. it just ashed <laughs> i was literally setting up in order to tell you i finally got halfway now and i was going to show you the ash i had but it, as soon as i dropped you can see it fell right there well i was going to say that it's actually been ashing really well Nice big long ashes, big chunks here. Um, and not until now have I noticed it's just starting, right before half, just starting to canoe a little bit. Don't really know if that's really my fault. Like I said, I've had this one before. The last one I had was not canoeing, it, per it burned perfectly. So, you know, not every single cigar can be the exact same, it's perfect, right? But still, I hadn't uh, canoed up until this very, very point. Flavor-wise, pretty muted, uh, just to be very honest. Um, not huge in flavor. Still smooth, no matter what. Still uh, uh, very, very enjoyable. Halfway through, like I said, I thought it was going to be a little stronger um, than what I remember last time. I'd say a 5 out of 10. You know, maybe a six or maybe a six, five or six out of ten. Uh, we'll see once we get to the to the the last bit here, to the last nub. Always seems to get stronger the last nub. I think it's just because the burn is closer to your mouth, but who knows? Um, actually, if you do know, if anybody else kind of experiences the same thing when you get closer to the end of the cigar, it seems to get a lot more stronger to you. Tell me, am I the only one? Am I crazy? So something I'd like to know from uh, anybody out there that has smoked San Cristobal, that loves to smoke Cristobal, or, or at least has tried one or two, something that you remember from it, which one did you smoke, what size, um, and if you're an avid smoker of San Cristobal, tell me what's your favorite, which ones that you buy all, all the time, and uh, you buy them because they're consistent, you buy them just because you love the taste of them, or um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Now that we are at the halfway point, let's go ahead and um, try to retrohail it. Got woody uh, for me in a very nice way. Pepper, pepper's still there. I will say black pepper, I can still sense it. It's just very muted. It's very in the back. I try not to retro him um, really more than maybe three, four times. You know, once in the beginning, um, once at half, you know, and, and maybe one or two more times. But yeah, all around, I think the strength kind of stayed at a, a pretty solid six there towards um, at least halfway through. It stayed pretty much at a six out of ten for me. Uh, the canoe fixed itself. I, I had to relight it once because I got distracted. I put it down. Otherwise, definitely a great smoke. Um, tell me what you guys think. You know, what, what do you think I should probably review next? If you enjoyed this, definitely like. Um, leave a comment for me. Tell me what you think. Maybe something I could have done better. Other suggestions? Is there something that you've had this the uh, San Cristobal before the uh, rev the revelation? If you've had this before and you've paired it with something that you thought was just perfect, let me know. Maybe I'll try it. And um, yeah, otherwise, I enjoy this time with you. I hope you enjoyed this, and see you next time on whatever uh, whatever seems to be uh, what I review next. Thanks, guys.